what's going on youtube i'm back again with another video man i know it's been so long but uh yeah y'all see like some plate i don't care y'all can't come get me anyway i want to say before i start this i want to say uh merry christmas and happy new year to everybody uh be safe out there because there's people out there doing dumbness so let me get back to the video but yeah as you can see oh uh, this is water my I, my transmission um, reverse band broke on me while I was driving. Well, I was backing up from Walgreens and I, and I heard a loud, shut up. I heard a loud bang. When I said it was like bang, it sounded like somebody hit me from behind. So I'm like, what the hell? Look by nobody was back there. So I'm like, okay. The car was moving back a little bit, but it was because, you know, if you put in reverse, it's gonna automatically move back. And I'm like, okay, when I give it some gas, it doesn't go as fast as it's supposed to. I'm like, damn, something ain't right. So I changed the transmission fluid, changed the sensors, thought it was that. It wasn't that. I hear the car engaging in reverse, but nothing. It drive and, dri and drive perfectly fine with no problems, no slippage, no weird noise, no overheating of the transmission, no nothing. So, I'm gonna let you guys know, I did this shit all by myself. Well, I did have a little help, but I don't want to disturb them because I know, you know, people got their own jobs, but by myself, I took the transmission out by myself, dropped it with the jacks, the tools you see right here, that, those right there, and the brakes, you see that, and the, that, and all that. Dropped it, everything was easy, just, I don't know if y'all guys can see. Excuse me, I'm getting a little sick, but the transmission is back in. I got to put the, the plate right there for the torque converter. But the two bolts at the top of the transmission by the firewall up there are the two main hardest ones, especially the one on the passenger side. That one is hard. And it stripped a couple of times, but I got these tools. I broke two so many ratchets and stuff trying to get it, but finally get it. But the cross member, you can see it's still loose a little bit because I'm just putting everything back and testing it out and everything, the transmission stuff. That thing is hard to get out. When I say it's hard, it's hard. Like, I I swear, if you don't have the patience and the time, and and the, the, just it, don't do it because you will get frustrated. Then knowing what every single boat goes to, I had to put all that crap back together. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll make a new video later, but all this back, the mufflers had to come off from all the way up there. All the both sides had to come off, the drive shaft. Got them bolted from way over there. Man, it was just crazy. Took the transmission out. Didn't have a transmission jack, but I used a jack with a cardboard and slid it down. Torque converter was still stuck to the flywheel. I had to take that out and and it's hard getting the torque converter bolts off but you got to hold this little thing up here and it comes off but let me tell you everything i did i learned by myself i didn't i had no experience in taking out a transmission out of any car this is my first time doing it and i really did it because now it works it goes in reverse it goes in drive no kind of weird noises i just got to fill it up with a uh, transmission fluid no right now i got to change I'm gonna change the drain pan to the one with the plug, cause I can't. I ain't got time for doing all that. And fill it back up with transmission fluid, and take it for a test drive, and like that. That's what's been going on, and I fixed the front seal problem. And I have to take the transmission. I should have took a picture or video everything, but I just wanted to get this done. I tore the transmission apart. That's even hard. I don't care what nobody say. Oh, it's easy. No, it's not easy. If you never did it in your life and you're doing it for the first time, it's hard. And you don't have all the correct tools. You got to buy more tools and buy this and buy that. And you're going to break stuff because I broke the dipstick, the two part. It won't go back in there like that for some reason. It's attached to the transmission and the engine. And the uh, engine block, I think. Yeah. Got to order another one of those. Um, 
yeah, so that that solves that problem. Nobody know, knows why they break. I think I know why it broke. Because sometimes I don't fully stop. And I put in reverse. And I guess, I don't know. By the time it wear, I'm broke. I don't know. The part was only $50. But most people don't do it because they don't have time to be taking it out. Or they don't feel like doing it. I'm going to let you know something. Take your time. Don't get frustrated. Take a break. Have help if you can. Be safe. Have jack stands because uh, this car shifted on me. Um, she only had three jack stands. I got to buy some more. But this car shifted on me. It broke that little black thing over there. And the car shifted. And it got... Damn, I'm still too close to this car. And stuff like that. But, I mean... It's alright. I have to stop due to weather and stuff like that. And I have to put water. I got dogs that like to drink this bull crap like it's juice. But I'm going to let you guys know. This ain't easy. I see why shops call charges this much. Taking it out. Taking this cross member out was this hard. And I thought I could take it out without the cross member. Hell no. Nah. Mufflers be rusted, stuck together. And it just is ridiculous. So my advice to you guys, take care of these cars. Change your transmission fluid on time. Don't do nothing stupid. Because remember, whatever you do stupid and shift and gear and you know that dumb shit, you got to replace it. See, the police can do it because they don't have to replace it. They don't give a damn about them. But when you buy it, it's your responsibility. You can't drop it off at the police department. Oh, fix this. No, hell no. You doing it. We all know these transmissions is beat to hell. Slamming in the park, slamming to reverse, slamming to drive, and all that other bull crap. And, um, I, I don't know, but, uh, take care of your car. And I don't care about the negative comments, oh, you doing the wrong, all that. I don't give a damn. I did it by myself, and it's right back in there, and it's perfectly fine, it works. But, I'm laying on the progress, and once it get finished, I'm a uh, because right now it's about to rain, it's windy, and I got time for that. I'm about to clean all this out, all this gonna be fixed. The siren, I'm about to clean all that out. But right now, I'm about to just uh, drink some hot chocolate or something, to eat, and just wait for this shit to dry, and order that piece, and put it in, put it in, that's it. And it's good to go. And like I said, come on with the negative comments. I don't care. I'll reply back. Like I said, it's my first time doing it. People make mistakes for the first time. Ain't nobody perfect. Even shops make mistakes. But the good thing is I got it in. I got it out. And I got it back in without killing myself and without messing up even more. And to me, what I'm going to do later on in life, I mean later on in life. Like later on, I'm thinking about dropping it down again and replacing every single unit in that transmission to see how it work out because you can replace it every single part in there as long as the housing is good you can still replace it and that's pretty much it I ain't got time to do no J mod I don't know I ain't got time for that but like I said this is a progress, work in progress the car still works and everything so you see the finishing the finishing thing like i said happy new years be safe uh, enjoy your day peace